Hi everyone, my name is Sachin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to create a cyclist character animation in After Effects. But first, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and please watch the video till the end with a lots of learning coming up. I have created this character in Adobe Illustrator. You can see here all the character layers which we are going to animate are in different layers. So I will advise you to create your character and separate it out in different layers that will help us to animate in After Effects. Like you can see here the body is different, the arms are different, the eyes are in different layers. So let's get into After Effects without wasting any time. Let's first create a comp in After Effects. Let's say 1080 by 1080, name your comp and let's import the illustrator file which we have created. Import it. Please keep the comp as like that and footage dimensions as layer size only. So here it comes. Now let's open the comp which we have imported. You can see all the layers are intact. Before starting the animation, let's first adjust the anchor point of each layer. Select your pan behind tool or you can use the keyboard shortcut Y and let's move the anchor point of each layer to the point where we are going to animate it let's say that we are going to rotate for example on the legs the thighs the foot yeah move it like this so it is going to rotate from that position and we are going to animate it now as we have changed the anchor point of all the layers let's select all the layers of a leg first which we are going to animate first and create a pre-comp of it select the layers Control shift c on your keyboard to create a pre-comp or you can go to layers pre-comp name the pre-comp which we are going to create let's say Let's say leg underscore L left leg. Let's open the com. So before we start to animate these layers, let's parent and create a hierarchy of all these layers. Okay, so the thighs is the hierarchy of this chain. So we will link the foot, the leg down, the paddle, the foot, everything to the thigh layer there's pant outlines also there we can parent it to the main leg thigh layer as now everything is parented let's check yeah it's moving okay cool we are done with the parenting stuff so let's add keyframes at the zero frame to all the layers which we are going to animate let's say foot leg now let's move to the 10 frame and adjust the position of the leg like this first adjust the, the thigh position then adjust the leg down position like this let's adjust the foot we are only animating the rotation values of all these layers now let's add a keyframe to the paddle back which is will also rotate with the foot so I key it 0 frame then I will move it to 10 frame and add a rotation to it in a cycling manner yeah correct that's the correct position let's check it yes let's move now let's move 10 frames more and let's adjust the same layers again set the rotation values for all these layers again now it it will come to the top position the foot so let's adjust the thigh position first then let's adjust the leg down position let's bring it a little more here yeah let's move the thigh position again now let's adjust the pedal back here
so now my all in between keys are also done yeah correct the animation looking good is rotating in a perfect circle i guess now we need to smooth it down these keys so just hit f9 on your keyboard after selecting all the keyframes it will easy ease the animation and it will look very smooth yes you can check it so now almost our first leg is done now let's loop this animation across the timeline so to loop the animation hold down your alt and click on the animating property here it's rotation alt click on this stopwatch our uh, expression box will open up below the layer now click on the play icon you see here go to property and select loop out duration this will loop out the animation till the end whatever time you select for your timeline this will continue animate let's copy this expression and paste it to all the animated layers the same way we have done or click on the stopwatch and paste it there that's it you can check it let's say uh, let's reduce our timeline to 8 seconds yeah this is working perfectly it's looped out let's reduce our timeline to 10 seconds trim the layer trim the comb to your timeline yeah so correct our first leg is done on animation now to replicate the same animation on the right leg we are not going into that layer and animating all the layers again so for that what we can do is we will duplicate this layer both in your timeline as well as your project panel here so let's duplicate it once that is done please rename it to let's say here leg right yeah r and just first select your duplicated leg com on the timeline and then select the duplicated com in the project panel then just drag and release it on the duplicated com this method will help you to change the individual properties of this duplicated com without affecting the original com if you just duplicate it and change the properties the com will be same and will affect the original com that's why we are doing this now as we have done the duplicating let's adjust the position of the duplicated com in the timeline let's move it up and bring it in front of the cycle let's bring it in front of the body i guess now open the comb because we need to adjust some layers like here the leg is open let's adjust the pant outline select your pen tool and adjust its position yeah. let's redraw it correct this is done let's go back to our main comb and yeah, see that is correct just bring this comb in front of your body also yeah now this is correct you can also change the color here without affecting The loop now let's animate the other elements so let's start with cycle first let's animate the spikes of the cycle select both these spikes front and back 
open the rotation properties of it pressing R on your keyboard let's give a zero rotation at the zero keyframe and let's move ahead to 1 second 15 frames where the animation is done let's give a rotation of 320 yeah also let's loop it out the same method copy it and paste it on the paste it to the other rim of the cycle yeah that's done you can check it's moving it's rotating in clockwise manner as soon as the character is slice cycling it now let's animate the other parts of the body the head the body the arms so let's start first with the body select the body layer give a keyframe at zero frame let's move to the 10th frame just like what we have done with the leg layer let's rotate a little back let's give a minus 5 value I think that will do okay the head is not going with this body layer if we can link it to the body the head let's first link the neck to the body first as it's not going with the body let's go let's select the body layer you keep him to the rotation and move to the Adjust value bring it back on the handle right as it's staying back we will need to animate uh, the position of the arms a little bit we need to place it properly on the handle yeah that's right let's adjust the wrist a bit so that the hand is properly placed on the handle rotation yeah still it is a still it is a little bit off the same the position of this wrist let's place it properly on the handle of the cycle so it's done let's loop it so almost my animation is done you can replicate the same animation on the other hand also We want you can add a blink to the character also to refine it more we can add more movement to the head so that delays with the body movement your character animation will look more realistic let loop it out also yeah that's looking good let's add a blink to the eyes open the layer open its content yeah we have converted this eye layer from the list layer into a shape layer. that's why it's had so many groups of each part like the mouth is different the eyeballs is different the eyes are in different group let's select that eye group and key it easily you can scale it down the vertical values yes done it's so we we have a blink also slowly slowly you can add, add animation to more 
can give animation to hair also now let's give a motion to the background which we have here this will show that the cycle is moving ahead by moving the background back let's select it give a key at the zero frame let's move to your end of the timeline move it back like this check let's check it yeah this is moving the character is moving up. it's now looking like the character is cycling ahead yeah so guys we are almost finished with our animation so just in a simple way we have created a character cycling in after effects with the layers which we have in illustrator so guys if you like this tutorial please like and share and please subscribe to my channel i need your support i will bring new tutorials every week thank you see you next week